All right, it's time. You're listening to KRUI in Iowa City, 89.7 on your radio, that's FM, and KRUI.FM streaming online. My name's Justin. The show's called I Hear, I See. It's about local music, etc. I haven't said this in a while, so I might as well let you all know. The music you're listening to right now as I speak is a tune called Let's All Go to a Boring Meeting, composed by my friend Jason Palomaro. We released it on an album we put out last year together called Relics. You can find that at jcjp.bandcamp.com if you're interested. Anyway, I'm here by myself today. We had an I Hear I See concert Friday night at Java House, and uh, I'm going to be playing clips from that for the next hour or so. If you want to keep me company, you can uh, tweet at the I Hear I See account. That's at I-H-E-A-R-I-C. But if you don't want to keep me company, that's also fine. And if you're uh, really daring, you can even call into the studio. The number is 319-335-8970. But now it's time for music. I'm going to play a couple tracks by Dodge Street Duo. These guys are part of the band Flash in a Pan, but it's the duo version. So they're not a full band, just two guys from Flash in a Pan. If you like what you hear here, if you like what you hear here, Uh, You can check out more of their music at flashinapan.com. It's similar, but with more instruments. The first one is called Went Back on My Word. The second one is called Going Home. Again, this is Dodge Street Duo. Thank you. 
songs recorded live at the java house friday night by the dodge street duo the first one was called went back on my word second one was called going home i just about had tears in my eyes on friday when they were playing that song it is brutal the lyrics there uh it's about heroin addiction so it's uh that's a tough one if you like what you heard there you can find more of their stuff at flash and and also uh max who was playing uh mandolin on that second track and sang lead on the first one he hosts a show here on carry on tuesday nights at nine called local tunes he has a uh, local musicians on just about every week to talk about what they do and often they play music live in the studio it's a good time um i've been on the show before with carlos and will we played a few sets as wombat together on there it was great good time max is good radio host Brings in lots of interesting people every week. And hey, uh, shout out to the caller who uh, called in while I was listening to that music and suggested the band Acoustic Guillotine to me. I'm not going to be able to fit them in today's show, but I will take a look at their band camp, which is acousticguillotine.bandcamp.com, and I'll take a listen to that stuff. Looks like my kind of thing. So you may hear them on the show going forward. And if you would like to get in touch... 
please tweet at I Hear I See, or again, the phone number is 319-335-8970. I'll do my best to pick up. But now, it's time for some more recordings from Friday night. Uh, we had the local poet Jennifer McBain Stevens read some of her work on Friday. She had several books with her. She's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, I'm going to play four of the poems that she read for us. The first one's called Robot Number 12, and here it is. Robot Number 12, Brain Meld. This document can give you an idea of what is inside the robot and how it was put together. Most of the pages came from blank documents that reside in the factory. As you browse through the pages, you will see abbreviations that have blank, no meaning to you. He doesn't know what I want to hear. That would take years of programming, and we don't have years. We have seconds until another trip to the store for oil. He follows directions, but how long before he anticipates what I want, like a herding dog? Pick up a mop, compliment my hair, ask me about my day, walk with me by the river, tell me a funny story, on the phone with company. Yes, I've pulled the white tab. The coil is removed. When does connection happen? It doesn't, automatically. I've rebooted several times. I've not left him out in the rain. Can he be reprogrammed? I've not fed him the wrong items. Can he be returned? I've given him private space to recharge. I installed the emergency shower. I've never pushed him. I don't have that warranty, but he's never, oh. Jenny gives me orders. Remember to react. Protect me from what I want. Claim unauthorized space. Instructions fill trees with fruit. I gladly photosynthesize. Lift my soft palate, but find it cumbersome. Freedom to spread, lips together, teeth apart. So we choke on our own preferred travel advertisements. The blue light special, extinct along with print. What is easy evolution? Take a perception vacation. Our tongues cannot move as fast as hummingbird wings. We see the space between the dark age, the IMAX age, the Twitter feeds. Drones deliver a soft look. I couldn't buy a soft look if it hit me with a frying pan. Lisa's ghost twin sister still shows up to work every day at the grocery store in her service uniform. She forgot the on-site accident. She wears sensible shoes, polyester pants, and a blue silk blouse in the height of summer. Tidy pin curls on one side of her head, the other side haggard darkness. Her face is made up pretty like a porcelain doll, but something is off. Lisa's ghost twin sister, a cracked egg, gesticulates in dry goods, her arm reaching for baked beans. Does she know she's walking undead down the dairy aisle? Her journey to rebuild herself, horrific. Maggots like buds of garlic follow her, trying to clean slime from the aisles. Eyes like clumps of chives survey the scene. Tomatoes are hearts, spaghetti, dried tendons, fish for feet. It will go in to come back out. It comes out to go back in. She cannot help it, Lisa's ghost twin sister at the grocery store. Lisa's ghost twin sister disturbs the cereal boxes. She reaches for odd items, taffy, broccoli, mouthwash. If I were a ghost in the grocery store, I'd try to pick up an apple. People walk through her all the time. They look like they ate something bad for a second. I go every Sunday. I try to tell Lisa's ghost that she's checked out already. My breath wasted, unfelt in her non-ear. Okay, so five 
tacos with cheese and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10,000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Growth. The spadger head grew out of my shoulder overnight. I didn't even notice it in the shower. I couldn't put on my turtleneck sweater. I was terrified for exactly two seconds. I liked the grunts it made. There was some blood to clean up from where it sprouted. I patted some disinfectant around its neck. It didn't seem to like the smell. Its eyes screwed up. It eats whatever I eat. I cannot sleep on my right side again. My friends asked me, is it male or female? Can I pet it? I went on exactly one talk show. Then I said, no, I'm not going to be a freak. I'm going to be in control of my own destiny. It isn't cute. It is quite ugly. I try not to think about it. Sometimes I'm angry, I told my therapist. She mentioned something about tetanus. I try to be more accepting. I get accepted into the University of Wisconsin-Madison for free, no questions asked. Sure, I can live with this, I think, until I see the fear in its eyes. Hey, that was uh, Jennifer McBain Stevens. Four of her poems read live at the Java House Friday night. I think my favorite thing about uh, recording shows at the Java House is that the stage is right next to the bathroom, so you can hear it every time somebody is using the hand dryer, and you can hear the door opening and closing. It's my favorite thing. I love live recordings. <laughs> uh, so those poems were called Robot Number 12, Jenny Gives Me Orders, Lisa's Ghost Twin Sister at the Grocery Store, and the last one was called Growth. If you like what you heard from Jennifer, you can find more of her stuff on her blog, which is jennifermcbainstevens.wordpress.com. Yes. And uh, the last name is M-A-C-B-A-I-N-S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S. She posts uh, a lot of her work on there. There's links to her books that she has published. And uh, she also, it looks like, posts uh, a blog post every time she is going to have a live appearance somewhere in the city. So if you wanted to catch her live... That might be the best way to keep up with her. If you're just tuning in, uh, this is I Hear, I See Radio. It's a show where we feature local artists of all stripes. And today's radio show is a bit of a recap of the concert that we hosted at the Java House on Friday. I'm playing live recordings from that. And I'm going to do another one right now. So up next, I'm going to play two performances by Tyler Katz. Tyler is... uh, mainly a composer. Tyler studies composition at the university here, and uh, the first track I'm going to play is Tyler's uh, violin solo titled The Hermit, and the second performance I think requires a little bit of explanation. Um, At some point I got in my head that Tyler was a clarinetist, which is not the case. I think because uh, they mentioned to me that they wanted to play the Barrio Sequenza on one of the I Hear I See concerts. And so for those not in the know, the uh, the composer Barrio has a series of instrumental solos, each one titled Sequenza, one, two, three, etc. And for some reason, my mind always defaults to the clarinet solo. Sequenza number... Poo. You know, I don't care. <laughs> it's one of them. One of them is a clarinet solo. Um, and I had never actually seen Tyler perform, so I was not aware of uh, which instrument they played. Turns out Tyler's a violinist. And I think on this show last week, I said Tyler would be playing clarinet. I also posted on the I Hear I See Facebook page that Tyler would be playing clarinet. Uh, and I was wrong, but um, Tyler thought it was funny, so they borrowed a clarinet from a friend and treated us to a clarinet improvisation, having not uh, played on the clarinet at all prior to that day. So. Uh, Tyler jumped in, improvised something on an instrument that they did not play, and it was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so first up is the Hermit, the violin solo, and then after that, a brief clarinet improvisation. And thank you, Tyler, for uh, running with my mistake and doing something pretty fun and cool on the show. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
bad right that was tyler katz uh with a clarinet improvisation as i mentioned before we listened to that tyler does not play the clarinet <laughs> pretty good for uh, not being a clarinetist if you've uh listened to this show with any regularity you've probably heard a wombat performance at some point and uh i mean not too much different right just improv improvising uh, some woodwind sounds if you, uh, if you enjoyed Tyler's work there, I mean, particularly The Hermit, which <laughs> Tyler composed and performed on the violin, an instrument that they actually play, you can find more of Tyler's compositions on SoundCloud. It's soundcloud.com slash Tyler dash cats, K-A-T-Z. And, uh, yeah, at some point in the future, I will play Tyler's performance of the Barrio Sequenza here on the radio as well. But, uh, it's a, it's a long one, so I, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to take the time on it today for a recap episode where we're getting a smattering of everything. Anyway, it's about time for the weather report here on KRY, so let me just pull that up. I'm getting all this information off of weather.com, everybody, so you can read along at home if you'd like. We're currently under a high wind warning until 9 p.m., so that's that's why it feels awful outside if you've been out there. Uh, we're looking at 17 degrees Fahrenheit, but... Because of wind chill, it feels like negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got 67% humidity, and currently the wind's coming from the west-northwest at 32 miles per hour, which is significant. Don't go outside if you don't have to. It hurts your face. Now it's time for more music. How about that? Hey, if you're just tuning in, thanks for listening. This is called I Hear, I See Radio. Uh, it's a show that features local music, and today's show is a bunch of clips from a concert we hosted at the Java House on Friday. I'm here by myself, so if you want to keep me company, please send us a tweet at I Hear I See, or you can call, again, the number for the studio is 319-335-8970. And right now I'm going to play a recording of the group Smack. This is a duo 
Sean Miller on the alto saxophone, Alexandro Cazares on the double bass. And they're playing a composition called Snowed In. This is by our friend Anastasia Schultz. <laughs> Anastasia, if you're listening, please uh, tell me how to pronounce your last name. I've said Schultz in the past. It's S-C-H-O-L-Z-E. But uh, on Friday night, Alexandra said Schulze. So I'm sorry if I got it wrong, and I'm sorry on Alexandra's behalf if he got it wrong. But please just let me know which one is right. Okay, here's Snowden, performed by Smack.
That was Smack. Sean Miller on the sax, Alexandro Cazares on the bass. They were playing the Anastasia Scholes composition, Snowed In. Uh, those guys are great. If you want to uh, hear more of them right now, uh, they they were actually guests on the KRUI show Take 5 the other night, which is at 11 p.m. on Thursdays, if I remember correctly. Um, and you can listen to that on the KRUI SoundCloud page if you so desire. It's soundcloud.com slash KRUI. The track is titled Take 5 to 21 19. They talked for a little bit and they played a few tunes. It's uh, good stuff. Check it out. I'm uh, reaching the end of today's show, I'm sorry to say. But uh, I have a bunch of stuff to tell you about before I go. A few shows to plug. I'm going to start off with the I Hear I See news. We have finally finished uh, booking this season's concerts. It took us a little longer than usual, but uh, we have a very cool poster designed by Carlos's sister, Marina. We posted it on the Facebook page. It's uh, beautiful, and (laughs) it has the following dates um, remaining in this season. March 15th at 9 p.m., we're doing a show at Trumpet Blossom. Uh, I can tell you right now that I will be performing at that one, so if that's something you're excited about, put it on your calendar now. Uh, and then the month after that, April 12th at 8 p.m., we'll be back at the Java House again. And then we're going to close out the season on Saturday, May 4th at 7 p.m. at Uptown Bills. It's been a few years since we had an I Hear I See show there, and I'm pretty excited that we're returning. It's one of my favorite places here in town, Uptown Bills. Uh, outside of the I Hear I See shows, there's a bunch of stuff in the coming weeks that you may be interested in checking out. Uh, tonight at Voxman Concert Hall, The University of Iowa Center for New Music Ensemble is performing at 7.30. Um, And then starting on the 28th and going through March 2nd, each show beginning at 7.30, uh, the play Bully is uh, being produced at CSPS up in Cedar Rapids. Um, Our good friend Divine Huff will be performing as part of that production. You should also check out her KRUI show Wednesdays at 5. It's called A Moment with Divine. Good stuff there. Uh, Feed Me Weird Things, they are coming back with their concerts pretty soon. Um, On March 1st, uh, these are all at Trumpet Blossom, by the way, the Feed Me Weird Things series. They always go there. I don't know. They have some sort of partnership in place. But on the 1st at 9 p.m., you can catch a show uh, featuring Jason Snell with Brendan Hanks. Um, And if you happen to be in uh, Kansas City, which I really doubt anyone's listening from there at the moment but um you have two chances to hear wombat perform next weekend in the area we're gonna be at mock sonic a uh convention sort of thing going on at the university of central missouri on the 8th march 8th that is uh and we are on the late show i'm not sure exactly what time that starts or even where it is but uh more information at moxsonic.org that's m-o-x-s-o-n-i-c.org And then the day after that, we're going over to Kansas City to uh, play at a house show. That's on the 9th. It's going to start at 8 p.m. We're going to be performing with the bands If Only, If Only, Garden Club, and La Chancla. And the uh, venue's called Soft Touch. If you are listening to this as a podcast, I'll put all of the links to these events in the description. And if you're not listening as a podcast, well, you can do that as well. (laughs) Go to IHearIC.com. That has links to all of our stuff. We're on Facebook, Twitter, etc., And the podcast is up on iTunes and Google Play and all that stuff, too. I'm going to be back in here next week uh, on March 3rd at 4 p.m. I will most likely have a special guest, but uh, he has not confirmed my message, so I don't want to put his name out there just in case something comes up. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? That's never happened to me before on this show a hundred times, right? (laughs) Anyway, I'm not bitter. Um, If you would like to get in touch with us for any reason, you have some music you want us to hear, you have a show coming up you want us to know about, you just want to say hi, whatever. The best way to get in touch is by email. It's IHearIC at gmail.com. Thank you all for listening. Thank you to everyone that came out to the show on Friday. You all make my life worth living. All right, here's some more music. This is another one by Smack, or performed by Smack. It's composed by Alexandro himself. It's called Sapel Amali. 
I don't know French super well, but I believe that means your name's Amelie. All right, enjoy the smack. Enjoy your week. Thank you again for listening. Good night.
Hello, I'm Bruce Harold. Hi, my name is Mahesh. Hi, I'm Lillian Sanchez. I'm Shu, coming from China. Hi there, I'm Jim Throgmorton, mayor of Iowa City. My name is Ala Amishit. I'm from Iraq. Hi, my name is Josh Abdel. I'm Sarah Gardiel from the Tibby College of Business. Hello everyone, my name is Sunny. My name is Wendy Lee and I'm from Singapore. We pride ourselves here at Iowa on diversity. Wherever you come from, no matter your background, no matter your religion, no matter your culture, we want you here. You are welcome here. You are welcome here. You are welcome here. You are welcome here.